The first two picks in the NFL draft have changed the outlook of their franchises. Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels have been not only two of the most impressive rookies, but two of the most dynamic players in the league this season. Jay, what is setting these guys apart? They've got good players around them, which helps tremendously, and they've got some good play callers also. I think Caleb Williams struggled a little bit early, but Shane Waldron has really picked up the pace as far as getting them comfortable in the pocket, giving them easy completions. You know, the touchdown to Cole Clement last week was a little uh, middle screen to the tight end. He's wide open. A dump, bunch of dump-off screens to DeAndre Swift. And then uh, when he has to let it fly, he's more comfortable in the pocket. He stands still. He's not moving his feet around like crazy, so he He's playing within the offense, but when things do break down, we know Caleb has the ability to run. Jaden, on the other hand, is hitting you a lot of different ways now. Jaden has been tremendous to me in all phases. In the pocket, outside the pocket, the zone reads, the quarterback design runs. He's been awesome. He's missed a couple throws here and there. Uh, The concern is now his longevity, which it was coming out. He's got a thin frame. He's got hurt ribs right now. Can he play against Chicago? We don't know. But as far as his play, the first six games of the season, I don't see any flaws in his game. I really don't. He sees well. He's accurate. He's anticipate throws. He can run. He avoids pressure. Um, their offense is damn near unstoppable. Tressway, my buddy who we signed as a punter, hell, you never even see, see him. He doesn't punt. <laughs> right. You know, they're awesome. Right. So both these guys have just continued to get better and better. I think Jaden came in and was a splash, a big hit right away. Week one, week two, they struggled against Tampa a little bit, but then they went on a tear. Caleb struggled a little bit more, but you can see him getting more comfortable. You can see his talent starting to flourish with the guys around him. Cole Clement, a tight end, DJ Moore. I mean, the rest of the guys, Roma Dunze, they're pretty good at, at Chicago and both teams' defenses are playing extremely well, too. Uh, I didn't think that would happen at Washington. I thought that'd be a weakness, but they're playing pretty good. Of course, Chicago's got a damn good defense. So uh, it's been fun to watch these guys play. It's going to be a great game on Sunday. We'll see who wins. AQ, you played with Andrew Luck early in his career. I'm just looking at Caleb and Jaden, the success they're having. Like, how rare is this for them early in their NFL career? It's super rare. I mean, I think you, I mean, there's so many statistics out there of how rookie quarterbacks struggle and when you look at these two players and honestly when you look at Caleb I mean they he started off in a in a bad place right their offensive line was bad he has really picked it up I think the coordinator's done a better job getting comfortable with what he's doing but when I played with Andrew he understood protections from the minute he got there right I think that's a big part of it and so whenever you have a young quarterback that's smart that understands protections understands the whole picture and not just goes out there and trying to memorize a game plan I think when you can see some early success and you're starting to see it with these guys Jaden Daniels has done a phenomenal job his offensive line they rebuilt it in the offseason they've done a great job they're getting the running game going he's doing a great job of run and pass he's slinging it but he's also runs it for 50 on the first running play of the game this past week. So you're starting to see the th- same things on in uh, Chicago as well. Jay brought up a great point. That little tight end delay to Cole Komet was la- last week was unbelievable. They are doing phenomenal things to help the young quarterback at this point, whereas in Chicago early in the season, their offensive line, I mean, we've all seen the picture where all of their offensive linemen are on the ground, I think, against Indianapolis, and it, they looked horrendous. They actually were running the hell out of the ball last week, so it was good to see. They're doing a lot of great things for both these guys, and they're putting them in a position to win. And that reminds me of when we were in Arizona, too. When we had when we had Kyler Murray in Arizona, the ability for the quarterback to run and get on the move really helps everything else in the run game. We have those short throws that are extension of the run game. Jaden's getting the ball out quick. We know Cliff likes to get him on the move, get him easy completions earlier in the down. My question for you guys is, if you were going to go back and redraft this thing, are you switching it or are you keeping it exactly how it was? I'm switching it. I think Jaden's a more polished player within the pocket. Caleb has more arm talent. He can sling it a little further. He got a little stronger arm zip, but Jaden can do it all, man. I just like Jaden's poise in the pocket. A happy feet, guys, they kind of drive me crazy. Uh, Caleb is just too happy right now. He might calm down a little bit, but even at USC, he was happy. He fumbled 35 times at USC and took a bunch of sacks. Jaden, on the other hand, I just feel like I like his poise, his leadership, just a little bit better. I could be wrong, but the skill set that he has displayed in the first six games has been pretty damn good. Yeah, I, I look at both these quarterbacks from the standpoint of I played for Shane Waldron. I also played for Cliff. I kind of know those systems, and – I like the creativity of Caleb Williams, like his ability to make a play. He's got great 
um, awareness in the pocket when he's we, he can create some crazy plays. That can also get him in trouble. But uh, Shane's doing a nice job after the first couple games of really kind of reeling him in. Jaden, on the other hand, can just take off and go for 40 at any moment, right? His ability to run and create that way is pretty awesome. And I love Cliff's system. I think Cliff has a really good running game. Their scheme and what they're doing, that's an added element to some of the offenses that Cliff has had in the past, right? With with the, that staff and with Brian Robinson, that veteran offensive line, they're, they're really doing a nice job of, of giving some easy completions to Jaden because of the run game. So uh, I like both these guys. Well, I watched Caleb play probably his best game, in my opinion, in, in, in London a couple weeks ago. And he came back last week, played a little, played good. So I, I Jaden is just dynamic. Um, I don't know that I would go back and change the draft order, but what I look at is the situations that these two guys walked into. I mean, that's a it's a unique deal to have the weapons that Caleb has throwing to the the defense that he has that they basically won the first couple games for him. And then, in, and then in Washington, you got Terry McLaurin, you got a veteran tight end, you got a good run game, you got Noah Brown, you got these guys, a lot of these like two and three receivers that Cliff will line up in certain positions and, and get good completions with. So um, the weapons that they have is, is, is pretty unique for a first and second pick in the draft. Looking back at all the drafts that I can remember, that like these situations are, are, are a little bit teed up for them and they're doing a really nice job. Jaden Daniels for me. It is Jaden Daniels. I mean, because the thing that impressed me the most was, listen, I, I remember going a couple weeks ago into the Arizona game, right? And you were kind of up in the air. I think you liked Cliff. You also liked Kyler. Some of the throws he made in that Arizona game sold me immediately. Like, it was unbelievable. I was like, man, this is a rookie quarterback making these throws in, what, a second or third game? I'm like, this is insane, right? And then now they've gotten better up front. They're doing a better job running the football. They're getting more creative, getting quarterback runs involved in everything. And now he's just become a complete player, and he's dynamic, as Jay said. He, he's That's the guy I'm starting with. Here's my one concern, Colt. When we were in Arizona, we played the New England Patriots, and Bill Belichick figured out with Kyler Murray as a young ascending quarterback, he was you know on his way to Offensive Rookie of the Year, started running games up front, started figuring out some things that gave Kyler some – some pause and caused some frustrations and it ended up giving us a lot of issues for the rest of the season. We went in and we overhauled some of the roster to change some of those issues. I'm excited to see how a few weeks of film goes by defensive coordinators start to get a beat on what these quarterbacks like to do. They like to roll a certain way. They like to take this throw when, uh, you know, they're getting all out pressure and how these players have responded. The reason why I'm going to take Caleb Williams is the progression that he's shown every single week. I talked to DeAndre Swift yesterday, the running back at Chicago, and he was just talking about the maturity that Caleb has. He, when he got drafted, he had the playbook before he even got drafted and he was diving into it and they've gotten better and better every week. Look, you can't go wrong choosing either one. The one pause I have with Jaden Daniels is the injury history. You know, you have that, that type of. I don't want to say frail because he's not frail by any means, but a little more of that slender build. And I'm, I'm nervous about the longevity. I think I'm still sticking with Caleb Williams in this one. What more do you got to do to prove that you should be the number one pick? <laughs> he, they punted three times. They scored almost every possession they had the ball. I mean, they're, they're sick. And Cliff has done a good job. And obviously the offensive line coach, Bobby uh, Bobby Williams or Bobby, what, Bobby, Bobby Johnson. Johnson. Bobby Johnson's done a great job. And, and Anthony Lynn, the run game coordinator, that has helped out a ton. Whenever you have a young quarterback, I, I coached Andy Dalton in Cincinnati as a true rookie. We had no OTAs. It was a strike year. We only had training camp. He had to start every game. And we were pretty simple and basic. Uh, we didn't do a lot of things that Cliff is doing with Jaden Daniels. And uh, it's very important of the amount of information he's been able to handle with formations and motions and and snap count. I mean, it takes a lot of time now. If you're sending guys in motion full speed, you got to get the ball and make sure the guy doesn't run into the snap. And, and then you got to read the defensive end. You got to pull it out and throw a flat route or pull slant backside or, or keep it. I mean, there's a lot of things going on that they're asking Jaden to do right now that he is performing at a very high level. You don't see any mistakes. I mean, you don't see any fumbled handoffs, fumbled snaps, delayed games. They are 
operating at a very high level this early in the season. And they're only going to get better because they're able to play off of what they've had success with. And they're going to be able to add more and more nuances, formations, and personnel groupings uh, to make things a lot more difficult for defenses coming forward. And if you look at the NFC East and the schedule come up, Philadelphia's defense is struggling. Dallas's defense is struggling. Obviously, the Giants, they already beat the Giants. So I think the sky's the limit for this uh, commander team. And it's because... Of Cliff's doing a great job. Obviously, Dan Quinn did a great job. And Peters, the GM, did an amazing job putting this yeah. team together and fixing some things. But without Jaden, uh, it'd be a little bit different. Shout out Cliff Kingsbury. All those walkthroughs that you got to go through every day in his offense. But keep it rolling, Commanders. Love it. <laughs> 